Who is Hello that? and welcome everybody to uh, the Bus Travel Expo. Uh, my name is Professor Dr. Wolfgang Georg Alt. I'm the CEO of Gotri, that's the China Outward Tourism Research Institute. And today I have the pleasure to talk to a leading expert on the topic of innovation, Dr. Rudy Snippe, the CEO of Stochastic. Uh, he is with us from the Netherlands. Uh, and so let Rudy, uh, we have known each other for a long time and uh, I know that you have done a lot of good work in this field of innovation. And of, I think now with the last half year behind us and all the uh, big changes uh, caused by the virus, uh, many people agree that it's time for change and it's a good time for thinking outside of the box. And I think this is what you are doing most of your time. So can you give us some examples of uh, what, what is your approach and what kind of work you have been doing? So the first, so the first thing is, um, um, there is a difficulty what we have, what we have on on um, on um, uh, how is a language. Our language, the words, how we think, how we think via how is a language. How we words in our mind, and every, the meaning of our words, they they uh, uh, they they are built in the past. So when we think via words, we use words built by the past. So it is so difficult to think about tomorrow how to with words from the past. It is, nearly, it is nearly impossible. So the first thing for us with our human brain is to get rid of our old past language, but it is impossible. So how to do it? So have we tried have we try to talk with each other and we try to describe what we what we think that we mean, and never say yes, I understand you, but try to really to understand each other with uh, with words from the past. So the first step is not stepping out of the box; is thinking in a different paradigm. And a different paradigm, when I when I talk about it, yes, in your brain you think yes, I know, but it is really another way of thinking. So when I so when I think about it, our paradigm how we build it for the last hundred years, that is in companies, in organizations. And when you look at it, not as an organization, maybe in our old language, in our old language, it's an entity. I'm working for an organization, maybe I'm the chief of an organization. But when you look at the word organization, it's just a method to do something. Uh -huh. So you can so you can say, I'm working for a method. And it's a total different concept then. That you say, okay, I'm working for a method. Which method? Yes. Ask yourself, what is what is your method of your organization? In the past, we needed this construct has to build. But now in a digital environment, uh, we can do maybe, maybe every, uh, everything or, or uh, totally different things. So the first step is to realize that you're just working for a method and maybe you want to totally something else than this method. And what we're doing now is using this method. Maybe it's built for thing, maybe uh, uh, glasses or uh, whatever. And, and, and then you all of a sudden you think, I have to be innovative you know, with, the same, with the same method. And it, goes, and it goes far. In my research, I see most of the companies, uh, traditional companies, they are uh, 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 trapped in this, uh, in this innovation trap. So how does the question is, how to get out of it? I see, I see. Can you give us a example of your work, what you have been uh, doing for what kind of customers? Just a short example. Yeah, so uh, I is in, uh, is in line of this. <clears throat> I call it, uh, what we are doing, I call it the function definition. So the function definition of an organization is, that is whatever. So I, 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 just, I did it once, I did it for a library and I love, I love books, really, really. 
I'm a really book freak, so so um, I, I was there. <laughs> so I I, I had an uh, uh, I did I did an experiment with them, and I didn't know, and they didn't know it, of course. And um, so they uh, so they asked me, it doesn't go well with our library. Yes, we are innovative. We have also e-books, and uh, but um, how it doesn't go well? And then I say, hey, what you what you have to do, and of course that's the most wrong question to start. I, I, I said it's to start with. What you have to do is um, organizing trips to Japan. Trips to Japan. And tri trips to Japan. Wow. And then, <laughs> and then you saw these eyes of these people. Huh? Sorry, we are we are we are a library, and um, and it's nothing to do with trips. Uh, 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 to to head of Japan. What I did, I, I suggest something what is not part of the uh, uh, function definition of this uh, of this company. Now a library. And then you get all of a sudden you get a head of a resistor. And that's really a new way of thinking of it. You have bookshelves of head uh, uh, of Add this to resistance and change, but this is a, a different way of looking at it from had this, had this the perspective of a function method. and you can play with it. So to get rid of your method, I'm not able to say anymore I am, because at that moment I am and I'm stuck. So it is not about what I am, but what I want to cause. So I want to cause something. Um, maybe um, I inspire people to read. So it is not about me. I don't have any value at all. Yes, for myself, but for my environment, uh, zero. Only what I want to cause, maybe what I cause, the resonance of what I cause has some value, I, I desire hope. So for the for has the library is my um, maybe inspire people to read and maybe i can see that i inspire you that you are uh is inspired to read but maybe not at that moment i have to find another method i want to inspire you to read and you don't read why not maybe i organize a trip to japan and at that moment you saw in this group i I go, I go, I go with you. <laughs> so hence, the resistance is not there anymore. So what I did is from a stable uh, function definition, I make a dynamic function definition of it. And I think in tourism, this is now uh, indeed a good time where people uh, had the time if they want to not, but also the necessity to step back. And, and this, I think therefore your approaches are really uh, very very important so i know that you also have been looking at the chinese uh outbound market uh so how can we use your approach uh in the situation now uh and let's say mostly in europe uh for the chinese outbound market so that's uh that's a how uh had a how question and that's a method question i had it already but okay, how did you start always with the how? But but uh, but had to do I had to think about. So um, for example, first you have to understand that, that is your and that is your domain, and you have to understand stand how to say Chinese people. So uh, uh, what they like, what are the triggers, they are in a total different environment. What is what is what is really new for had for them, and then try to had this inspire them had this in a certain way. The resonance for one person, but when you can talk with each other or shout with each other, or do it with each other, and experience with each other. So I call it a horizontal resonance. What you had is what you create. That's totally out of the uh, way of thinking of uh, uh, companies at this moment. But in a digital environment or in an approach with Chinese who are coming in groups, this horizontal way of uh, thinking and this experience, uh, what you can create, 
I think that's very important. And maybe there is also an afterburn in this because they talk about it when, when they are back in China. So you sell it again and again, this, this had this, this resonance. And think about it. So it is not about this uh, rock, rock of heaven. And it's not about this experience in it, but it is and to do it together and laughing together. Whoa, I did it, I did it. And then uh, give, them, give them the opportunity. Had it to tell, had it to, to stories, had it at home. Maybe direct via a digital platform. Maybe we can compare digital platforms with each other. So the one bus is in A, the one bus is in B, and they communicate with each other and say, wow, together. <laughs> what we have seen uh, in the last few years is that more and more uh, marketing has been done in China, specifically for the Chinese market, uh, on WeChat, and on Weibo, and on uh, TikTok, and a lot of money has been spent on, on, on this. Uh, but it seems, especially now with the situation where people are more careful and maybe more scared uh, with traveling, that the question, what do my friends tell me? What is the word of mouse uh, or the word of mouse, computer mouse? Uh, so that this point of how satisfied are my customers or that what they tell their friends is uh, triggering their, their friends coming to us as well. So that, that this question of how to reach satisfaction seems to be getting more important than uh, marketing. It is, so, so the product, the product is, that is the interaction. The interaction, so maybe you have a wonderful building, but it is the interaction between your building and, and that is the tourist. So I think about it, it's not about the building. Yes, of course, it's beautiful and you have to make it shiny or whatever, but it is about the interaction and exactly what you say before. So maybe I talk with somebody in Shanghai. So how does what would you choose? But I think about this, this is your product. So this interaction between this person and this person in Shanghai, that's a part of your product realize it, that you can resonate also via this person in your shop to Shanghai and backwards. And they are telling it, wow, you have to look at it because, and I don't know, can you help me? And you can do all kinds of uh, interactions. So in the all time, and of course, and, and, and I'm talking in black and white, so it makes it more simple. I can't sell it, so marketing sell, uh, I hope that I have customers. So try to sell it. Mm. Um, it, is now, it is now about the interaction between you and me. I see you behave in this way. I can do it in this way. I, I'm the violin player and I want to see your tears. I, I'm playing in this way. No, it doesn't work. I, I just never know it before, but, but I'm a great violin uh, list and I can do it. So think that only your product is an instrument. That's your beautiful violin. And maybe you are a fantastic violinist, but, that, but, that, but that's not enough. It's about the tears in the eyes and you have to work for it. And this is inter, how does this interaction issue product. For, for Chinese outdoor tourism in the last few years, the problem has also been that in many cases, the, the customers, the, the visitors were actually not really satisfied because they, were, they thought that, okay, they, they are friendly to us because they want our money, but they don't really like us. They don't, are not really prepared. Uh, they don't really understand what we want. The staff very often didn't like Chinese visitors because uh, well, they don't give tips for one, but also they are, not very much uh, into saying thank you or smiling back or if somebody like the receptionist gives them the key or something, they just grab it, they don't say thank you. Uh, so they come across as, as rude or pushy. They want things happening now because they're always in a hurry. And, and the local, many local people also, we had this question of over tourism, have been seeing the Chinese as one of the reasons of overcrowding of over tourism because they are so visible. So uh, this, this point of, of understanding that this is an interaction and that you need to increase 
the satisfaction of everybody involved is I think not also not only something uh, saying we want to make sure that our customers are happy that you have to keep in mind uh, that you you make uh, your staff also happy and then the uh, the hosts community so you said before that not what do we want to achieve it is what are the challenges we want to face so if, if this is a challenge to, to describe okay how to make this interaction more satisfactory for everybody so how would you start i'll give you an example from from, from germany uh, there's a city of trier uh, which is a nice city on the moselle river uh, there used to be a roman uh, important city in roman times and it's the birthplace of Karl Marx. Uh, the biggest attraction of Trier for tourists, according to the li people living in Trier, is the Porta Negra, which is the only big uh, city gate from Roman Empire times still existing. Uh, and this is what they want to sell. But the Chinese tourists, most of them are not interested because they say, well, Roman stuff belongs to Italy. Well, next week we will be in Italy anyway on, on our trip. Why should I look at something from Italy here? But I want to see the Karl Marx house, of course. Uh, for a long time, the, the, the Trier tourism uh, DMO has tried to convince the Chinese that they should look at the Porta Negra and not so much at the Karl Marx house, because also this is a, a very conservative uh, region and they don't like uh, Karl Marx very much there. Taking this example where what you want to sell and what the customers want to buy are two different things. It's great, it's great. So first, what I always tell, don't look at what you see. If you see um, uh, uh, something like a museum for Karl Marx and you see a wonderful uh, uh, building and uh, that, that's what you see. But there's always, and that's very interesting when you train yourself, so when you are in a queue for a, it's a supermarket, it's not about what you see, but it is about it is about the mechanisms, what is behind. So when you see some somebody happy, so there is a kind. It's not about this happy guy. There is something. There is a mechanism that is that makes him happy. So there is also a mechanism that makes Chinese interested in Karl Marx. Also a mechanism that they don't like this building. So try to understand this mechanism. So something causes something. So this mechanisms, me mechanism of Karl Marx, try to understand what, the, what it is and what is the, maybe the story behind it. And maybe they have kind of stories in it and make it, and don't uh, fulfill this uh, exactly, but make a twist in it. Or that they say, oh, I had I thought back, oh, never thought about it. So it is about building this mechanism. And what is the instrument? This instrument is maybe the museum, but maybe also not. Karl Marx makes always a walk around his uh, uh, house and every morning he saw this old building <laughs> and it was a gate and uh, thought about it. And maybe, maybe under this gate, maybe we don't know, but it could be. That yeah, when of course, of course Karma, the, the gate was there when Karl Marx was living there. Exactly, was there exactly. For, for 2,000 years, yes. Yeah, so, so, so this maybe he was standing there and thought about page, page 21 in his famous book, what, that is whatever. So it is about this, it is about this mechanism and you can make it as big as you want. So everything is just decorum for it is this kind of uh, a mechanism what you want to cause. And of course, you look in the eyes of this tourist if you cause what you have to cause. So maybe you have to do it a little bit in this way and you, or maybe you have to do it a little bit in that way. And, that, and this is acting and learning. So when you want to cause is acting and you see in the resonance what you get is learning. And in old fashioned marketing and descending and uh, looking at the uh, uh, bank account, if it was working or not. But now it is about, uh, get I get the right resonance out of it? And of course the bank account is also okay there. The time is right now to put this more into practice. And for the Chinese market, uh, 
it seems to me that the Chinese only started traveling of the bigger numbers in the last 10 years. Uh, they are still learning to be international tourists. And they are still looking for uh, role models. So I started with language, but that's, that's really a problem. And we try to recognize in order to understand. And of course, n everything was already there. So also the experience, and that's important like that. Every organization, what I see, a hotel, because it is very difficult to add it in slots and. It's a, a lot of uh, work, and I'm, I have a lot of I have respect for it. But that is the only part of it. It's about what you want to cause. And maybe I, I don't need bets, I want to say, and, okay, that's wrong. But maybe, maybe I have to rethink. They want to have the night over there. And, and we say, okay, that's a bedroom. But they want to have a night over there. So which kind of night do you want to have over there? Maybe under the stars or whatever. And everything in products. Now the product is just an instrument. And when you think about it, and that's also a very uh, interesting way, when you say, I can't do it, and then it becomes interesting because you find all kinds of new ways that it is possible, and that is innovative. And that's the tricky thing when you say, yes, I know, I know, I know, I uh, uh, find give more experience marketing or, yes, of course, and they are right. But how does the concept is a, little, how does a little bit different. And of course you are right. It's all about people. And that's all. Yeah, I, this is, everybody agrees in the, in, the, in the industry that tourism is a people's industry. So this is, this has been said for a hundred years, so this is, uh, uh, but uh, this is, I think, what the virus has taught us is, the, among other things, that we lost that idea that it's about people. And it is, uh, uh, in the hotel, you are now 751, the, 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 so uh, you are 751. You're not even the, the guy living in 751, you are 751. If you go to the breakfast room, there's a list, and the list says 751, and that's it. And all this, I think, is what we see what in the last 20 years, uh, even in the last 10 years, has been simply by being too successful, by growing too fast, uh, and by not changing the, the, the methods. So doing the same thing, but, but there is, if the scale is changing, things are, different from before. So it's a change from quantity into a new quality. Uh, uh, I think this is actually Friedrich Engels, uh, Paul of, of Karl Marx, who's who, who uh, coined that. And my, maybe my last question to you, uh, a lot of the discussions we have now are that people say, oh, we all should be more considerate. We should be more sustainable. We should travel less. We should think about do I need to fly for a weekend to this place? Uh, so, and then if everybody behaves in a better way and a more adult and considerate way, then everything will be better. So, what do you think about this discussion, uh, which is saying we have to have a reduction of tourism, but this is basically a reduction? So, first, um, uh, look. Look, uh, look at it from a totally different uh, uh, approach. Uh, first, these are facts. So uh, it is. So uh, we have to uh, match uh, tourists also in uh, Amsterdam. So you can't. So you can't. Uh, you can't live there anymore, or it is very, very difficult. So these are really facts, and that is the result of how we organize. It. And when we say, yes, you have to organize it in the same way, but you have to come less, doesn't work, as of course, because of our human brain. Have you want to have it now? When I, when I promise you a box of chocolate now or two in uh, weeks, you want to have this first box now and then I'm, I'm really satisfied. So we are much, much too eager in, as in our brain had to say, yes, it's better for the world, uh, had it in 20 years. Now, have we, have, have we will destroy it today? So, so, so that is, but think about it, 
that's the way we organize it in this way. That's about organizing, but also I think about we order it in this way. So we use the word tourist. And it's a way of ordering. That's people who move around the world and they want to see a lot of things and that is especially during the vacation. Tourist. So when I say, okay, there's a human being and I don't have an order and he wants to see something. It yeah. opens how does it opens your way of thinking? Uh, it opens your way of, uh, okay, but it isn't doable because of, okay, then this is the problem and not uh, how does the problem before. So maybe you can, and you look at words as, yes, I want to see a lot of things. So you have to look at the definition of seeing. Maybe I want to share it, or maybe I want to, and maybe that is whatever, I don't want to give, has a lot of uh, business opportunities in this way, but 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 has to uh, uh, look at from a different perspective, and different kind of names uh, give it a different kind of names. But on the other hand, yes, it can't be done in this way what we did before the corona. It's it's obvious. So and it's terrible to say I had corona. So I maybe I'm allowed to say it. It's so wonderful that we had corona. Even though it's a terrible, terrible disease, and maybe had uh, unfortunately you go, I, I should die on it. But we see now a sky that is above the Netherlands. It's so blue we never, we never saw. Stars we ne never saw. I saw so many stars. When I walk my dog uh, in the evening, it's never had this before. It's such an it's such an experience. And I'm not uh, saying, yes, we have to go to the past. No, we have to organize the world in a different way that it becomes more, more sustainable, of course. Also, traffic, the word traffic, what is it? Uh, give, it, give, it is, uh, give it a total different kind of definitions. And maybe we have different ways of uh, looking at it. I always, ex I have this, I, um, um, Compared with uh, um, the uh, record industry, they, we have the LP. It was analog, round with a hole in it. Yeah. And then we go digital. And what we organized as a CD was round with a hole with it, in it. So we copy the past. And now we understand we don't need any carriers for music at all. So think about it, that not copying so now we have a meeting digital, maybe in the old fashioned way, maybe it is much more fun to do it in a way we never thought about it and it is digital. And so I think this is the approach. Uh, but be very honest, we are just people and we are very limited in our brain. So we, uh, we want to have it now and a lot. And when we are aware of it, maybe ha we have to organize it in a, uh, in a different way. Yes. Okay. So I think, uh, thank you so much. Lots of things to think about uh, for the Chinese outbound tourism industry, but for the tourism industry as a whole, for how to organize our world as a whole. Uh, and um, uh, Thank you very much. Uh, yes, I'm very happy and uh, I hope that also the, the viewers uh, can use this and uh, as a starting point to think about their their business or maybe also even their life. But of course, first of all, uh, how they can uh, use such insights and I'm sure uh, both uh, your company and our institute uh, will be happy to help if any help is is wished for. And, uh, of course, of course. Dr. Rudy Snipper, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Volker. Okay. Bye bye.